Such a weird name, Tishbite. I mean, who would even name their kid Tishbite? If I was named Tishbite, I'd change my name. It's a pretty terrible name for your kid. I don't know, maybe I might name my kid Tishbite. Just so that the other kids can bully him a little bit. It's a joke. Don't get all serious on it. Calm down. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to him saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook and I have that I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. Commanded what? Ravens. You know, ravens are one of some of the most stingy birds that you can ever find. It's amazing how God didn't pick any other bird to feed Elijah. Wow. He picked a raven to feed Elijah. You know why? Because if, if, if it were any, any other bird, it wouldn't be a miracle. Mm -hmm. wow. God can make something that takes all the time into a giver. God's going to make some of your stingy family members into givers. <laughs> that family member who's never even opened up their wallet, who always seems to forget the wallet every time you go to a restaurant. <laughs> that family member will suddenly start to bless you. That stingy boss that you work for will suddenly start to bless you. Come on. <laughs> Well, if you don't say amen, not amen, amen. Amen. God commanded the ravens to feed you there. See, when God commands a blessing upon your life, there is nothing that the world can do to stop the blessing from coming into your life. 